Good battle going on the back stretch. Between... Saturday at the Granger RC Raceway, and the competition is fierce. <laughs> Dozens of these remote control buggies, trucks, and cars are split into different heats, each vying for a first place title. 57 years old, and I never knew which end of the car was front and back. Grizz Finaleson started like any rookie does, but now seven cars and three years of practice later, he's one of the best. But I'll tell you, once usually once people race a race, all of a sudden the hook's set and they're back and they're back and they're back. That was the case for Dennis Thorpe. Look, someone's like the real thing. I said, man, that's got to be fun. I want to try it. I did. And from there on, just forget about it. And Penn High School junior Cheyenne O'Malley, too. It's definitely different than driving a car because I've tried to drive before, but not doesn't go so well for me. I definitely like racing these better. The track was built in the spring of 2010 and remains Michiana's largest outdoor RC racing facility. Without it, fans would have to drive as far as Fort Wayne and Goebbels. Even so, dwindling attendance is a concern for owner Michael Weaver, a man who spent tens of thousands of his own cash to create the facility. Well, I think the economy has as big a part in playing with that as anything. Um, I've talked to a lot of racers that just simply can't afford to race. And they've got other things that come, come first and other priorities. But for the 65 racers that showed up on this day, the only priority was crossing the finish line. And everybody will go home and say what a great day it was. And then if you go on the internet, you'll read about what a great day it was. In Granger, Kevin Lewis, New Center 16.